y'all, it's Heather and it is time for our weekly haul. I'm excited because I have a lot of new stuff to share with y'all. I've been shopping, I bought new foundation, new lip products, I have some PR to share with y'all. We're gonna go through all the makeup, we're gonna swatch, we're gonna have a good time, let's jump into it. Okay, I just have to say, I take no responsibility for buying this, I blame y'all 100%. Y'all bullied me into buying a Fenty lip liner and a Fenty lip product. Yes, it's not my fault, okay? It's not my fault, it's y'all's fault. I will link in the description box. I made a video about things I'm not gonna buy and so many of y'all in the comments told me, but it's my favorite, but it's my favorite, but you need to try it, it's my favorite. So I went to Ulta and I bought a lip liner. I bought one, I wanna test it, I wanna see because listen, I know y'all you have good taste and I'm thinking if I need this I need this and y'all told me I need it so I bought the Fenty Beauty lip liner what did I buy extra thigh <laughs> I love that. I like, I love the way Fenty names products. I think it's so fun. So anyways, let me swatch this for y'all because, well, I just broke the tip of it off. I was like swatching too hard. That makes me sad, but look at this color. I will sharpen it. It's going to be fine. It, it will line another day. Look at this color. That's a very me brown. That's so pretty and I couldn't like not buy the lipstick now the lipstick y'all didn't bully me into I told y'all I wanted this I just wanted to be able to swatch in store this is cute packaging and they're all like color coded I like that so this is the gloss bomb stick in the shade sorta selfish let me swatch let me swatch and I thought this would go really pretty with the lip liner but I haven't worn it yet that's glossy oh okay so just swatching it, never worn it on the lips, never, never worn it on the lips. Just swatching it, it feels not as soft as when I swatched it in store, which is making me hopeful because the lip liners, when I swatched in store, that's why I was like, no, I'm not gonna buy these. I don't think I'll like them, they're too soft. But this feels soft enough, but it doesn't feel like it's just gonna disappear off my lips or run anywhere. Like it feels nice and look at that pigment, like that has pigment. I can appreciate that. And isn't that a pretty combo? Like those are two very pretty colors. Okay, I am excited. I'm definitely gonna be wearing these. I'm definitely gonna be using these. I said I wasn't gonna buy it, but I bought it because I trust y'all. I also bought two beauty blenders because Ulta is about to have their like beauty event, sales event. I don't know if it's called 21 Days of Beauty anymore, yes. So they were having like a pre-sale and they were doing their beauty blenders for half off. So I, I love the beauty blender. I love makeup sponges. I have so many at all different price points, but I still love the original beauty blender and it was $10 each. So I bought two of those. And the other thing I bought is this Curl Smith Shake and Shine Curl Refresh mist with hyaluronic acid and seaweed and it's a pretty bottle it's like a oil but you can use this on like second and third day hair I feel like I have some products that are similar to this but this one caught my eye because it has a lot of really nice oils in it it has cranberry seed oil apricot oil avocado oil banana fruit extract like lots of things and my hair gets frizzy I do have naturally like curly wavy hair and I like products like this to refresh. And I'll also think I'll use this on my son's hair because I think it's actually more made for like his hair type. And I think we'll actually be able to both use this. Now, if you have like very straight hair, the, I mean, this isn't marketed towards you and I don't think you would like it. It's a curl refreshing mist. So I'll probably like it more on days where my hair is like in its natural texture. But even like, just like today, I feel like that just helped give me a little moisture take down a little bit of that frizz I was feeling and give me some shine. So I'm excited to test this out. So I hit diamond status at Ulta and Ulta has tiers just like Sephora does, just like a lot of shopping programs do. And I got to pick out a product. They had like a list of, I don't know, I, it was like, 20 or so products I could choose from, but I picked this. This is a heat protection mist from Redken. It says, apply to clean, damp hair, leave in, don't rinse, and it is supposed to shine protect and heat protect. I'm gonna be testing this and trying it. If you've had any experience with this product, definitely let me know what you think of it. I would love to hear. 
I bought the new Patrick Ta foundation at Sephora. I bought it the day it launched on the app exclusive. I got it ASAP and I already have a video on this. I did a two day wear test where I'm testing and trying this, trying it with two different primers, wearing it all day, doing check-ins, showing you in the sunlight, outdoors, everything like that, and kind of giving you my review at the end of the video. So definitely check that out if you're curious. But if you have not heard of this foundation, it is the Major Skin Hydra Lux Luminous Skin perfecting foundation. It's a long name. It's not made for people with oily skin. At least that's not one of the skin types it talks about on the Sephora site, but I wanted to test it and try it anyways. The rest of the products were going to send to me were sent to me in PR and I am always shaken to my core, shooketh if you will, when YSL sends me PR and they sent me three shades of the Make Me Blush liquid blushes. These just arrived, so I have not tested these. I have not tried these, but I thought maybe we could swatch them together and kind of see. I don't even know what shades they sent me. Coral Crush, Fuchsia Fling, Peachy Nude. Let's just open these up together and see. And we, oh, 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 that's a pretty color. That is a pretty color. Make me blush, liquid blush, 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 blush. Okay, there, I got that out of my system. This is, it just says shade 66. Does it have, the shade is Fuchsia Fling. Okay, we'll swatch this kind of right here maybe. Fuchsia Fling, oh, oh, that is so pretty. I love a bright pink. I know it's like a cool tone pink. Usually you would just say like cool tone, wear it, but I have a warm undertone. I have an olive undertone and I think wearing something that complements your skin tone can be so beautiful, but I also think it can be so pretty to contrast your skin tone. And something about like a cool pink blush can just be so poppy and impactful and beautiful. I want to see if I can kind of like blend this in with my finger because we don't wear blush like dotted on like that, right? Like we kind of blend it in. I mean, that's blending really easy, but it also looks really pigmented. So going on the face, like that would be enough to cover both cheeks, you know, like probably even need less than that. That's a super beautiful color. Let's do the other shade next. Let's do Coral Crush 57. This is very light. I'm very curious if this is going to work well on me because it looks like it's very light, like it's going to have a white base to it. Oh, that's like neon on me. Okay. This is one I will be very curious to see if this is going to work for me or not, because sometimes when things are this light, like that can pull through kind of weird, but if you're fair, you might really like that. So the more I blend it though, the more it's kind of like shearing out. It doesn't have like too much white pigment to it, which is nice. You can barely see it on my hand. Let me see if I can build it up a little bit. I'm thinking that's gonna be a pretty, pretty nice flush though. I'm gonna build that up and I'm actually gonna let it set for just a second before I blend it because it's, it's pretty liquidy. So I might give it a minute to get a little tacky and then we'll try it. But let's now swatch Peachy Nude. I love a peachy blush. Oh, this is, this is going to be my favorite one. This is most definitely going to be my favorite one. Where do I have left to swatch? Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. This is going to be my favorite. I can already tell you that is such a pretty color. So now that this has dried down, let's see if we can kind of like blend it. Okay. That's actually really pretty. I like that a lot more than I thought when I just saw it in the packaging and before we blended it out. I think that's going to be a really pretty light corally blush for the cheeks. That's going to be not super impactful and intense like this one, but let's blend out this shade because this, this is going to be the shade. That's Stunning. Oh, I like that. Oh, I'm so excited to try that on my face. I actually had a couple of these in my Sephora cart. That color is really beautiful. One size sent me a package with three of their primers. They sent me their Secure the Blur primer. All of these primers I love. I bought all of these primers myself and I'm keeping these all because I love one size. They work. Listen, I know a lot of people with dry skin who love one size, but I'm telling you, if you have oily skin, one size is here for us. They are here for us. They are here to keep our makeup on. And usually I do find hits with the brand, especially in their complexion products. So this is the Secure the Glow Makeup Magnet Primer. Fills and pores, fine lines, skin looks smoother, 
feels smoother and keeps makeup on. I think this, in my experience, I find this to be the most smoothing. It does help prep the skin for makeup. It does help makeup extend, like this extend the wear of my makeup, help it last long on the skin. But the main thing this is gonna do is like blur things. It's gonna fill in my pores. It's gonna make the makeup not settle weird into any like texture. It's, it's blurring. That's what I would say mostly. Now this is the Secure the Sweat Primer. This one I bought and I'm already like halfway through it, which primer lasts a long time. Like it, it just takes a small amount of this. You know what, let me get my tube because y'all gotta see. This is the one I'm currently using. So you can see this is more than halfway through, but it's so good. That's the primer I went when I like went on my family trip to Disney. When I want my makeup to stay on all day long, I don't want my sweat or humidity to break apart the makeup. If I'm gonna be outside all day, that is the primer I go for. So I'm so happy to have another. And they also sent me a Secure the Glow Tacky Hydrating Primer. This primer is tacky, it's hydrating, yes, but if you have oily skin and you need a hydrating primer for days when your skin is a little bit flaky or dry, not that I ever have days where I have dry skin. Like even if I have some flakiness or dry areas, my oils are still going to be coming through. So on those days where I want just a little bit of hydration, this is what I go for because it doesn't wear away the makeup. Like some hydrating primers will. They'll make it to where my makeup doesn't last as long. That doesn't do this. It just smooths and hydrates and it makes me feel kind of like extra plump for makeup. It doesn't make me feel like heavy under my makeup. But I also have friends with dry skin who really like this too. So you may you may want to try this. If you're looking for something like that, it's 24 hour hydration, all day makeup wear. One size is one of those brands for me that anytime they release a product, I'm interested because I've just found so many of their things work for me. I also got a big package from Milk Makeup and I can tell you everything I'm going to show you, I actually purchased myself first because <laughs> I love Milk Makeup. I really like their products and whenever they release something new, I'm like, let me buy that. Let me try it. So I'm happy to have some restocks. Let me show you though. Just listen, I'm going to give you mini reviews because I have some new stuff, but it's all stuff I've been using. They sent me another of their Milk Hydro Grip Primer and of the setting spray. I've bought both of these. I've completely used up both of these. I have repurchased the primer multiple times. The setting spray, I believe I've purchased twice. It's a really beautiful setting spray. People ask me all the time, like what is different about the milk from all of the other grippy primers, the dupes, the ones that try to dupe this. What is different is the ingredients in the milk. Milk has aloe in it. That is one of their key ingredients in their Milk Hydro Grip line. It really is something that my skin likes. I find it very soothing and it does give this, the original product like this, the edge over the competitors. Now, do with that what you will. That's just something that I've noticed. And they also sent me some more of their Pore Eclipse line, which I, I've already purchased all this because I'm an oily girl and I have pores. Like if you have oily skin, you know the pores, they're there, okay? So they sent me a translucent light in their Pore Eclipse Matte Translucent Setting Powder. Super excited to have another one of these. The shade I purchased is medium, so I'm excited to have a light version to give me some brightness under my eyes. They also sent me a Pore Eclipse Matte Blur Stick. Now I will say, this is nice, and I did review this product, but I do prefer the other version. This is the Mattifying Primer. This one, you're supposed to be able to use on top of makeup, the stick, but I actually am wearing this today, and you, 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 you can probably tell. I've had this makeup on all day today. I've had this makeup on all day today. I'm actually wearing this with the Patrick Ta today. I'm, I'm only on, I say all day today. I'm only on hour, what time is it? Okay, I'm on like hour seven of wearing this makeup. So I'm using this version right here of this milk. Let me just, I mean, it's not like you're gonna be able to tell. I mean, maybe you will. Maybe it will take, well here, I can at least show you the texture. Look, I'm almost out. I'm glad they sent me another one because I'm going to have to like squeeze mine. Okay, like, oh, there we go. I'm like, wait a minute. I know it's not empty, but it is almost empty. Okay, well, look, perfect timing, Milk. Okay, so if I kind of blend that in, you can see that it's a translucent texture. It looks white when you first pump it out, but it's translucent when you blend it in. 
and it mattifies, like it really actually mattifies the skin. So that's what I have on with the Patrick Ta today because I want to keep wearing the Patrick Ta and using it with different primers, different powders. I'm wearing my favorite powder, my Givenchy, the original. Yes, I did order the new reformulated version. I'm going to compare those for y'all ASAP, but I am wearing the original today. So very excited to have more from this line and their setting spray purchased this myself too it's a beautiful setting spray that doesn't give you those white dots does it mattify i don't know that i would say like it would take glowy makeup to matte makeup but what it will do is if you have on a more matte look you know how sometimes you spray on setting spray and it will make you more glowy this will not do that it will let your makeup stay matte the way you intend it to look so i do like that and they sent me cloud glow weightless cloud like foam this is their foaming primer okay milk they make fun products but they do make fun products that actually work i don't necessarily need that primer for my skin type if you have dry skin you may like it a lot better so i actually may pass this on to my mom i uploaded a bonus video on the unearthly cosmetics gargoyle palette if you haven't seen it i will link it in the cards for you and the description box so you can check it out but this is a beautiful cool tone colorful palette i'm not going to go on and on about it because i have two looks swatches my thoughts on this palette in that video so watch that if you're curious but i love unearthly cosmetics they did send me this palette but the gargoyle collection has several other things launching with it they have lipsticks lip glosses and liquid highlighters and i did purchase the entire rest of the collection myself so i'm super excited for that to come in i do have an affiliated code with unearthly if you're ever shopping the site you can use code heather if you want to get a discount i always have my codes and everything like that in the description box too i got a package from clarins and isn't this box fancy looking it looks so luxe and I wasn't sure what it was because I didn't know they were releasing a new serum but I actually saw this on the Sephora site and this is a massive bottle okay this is the double serum complete age defying concentrate serum this looks luxe right this says the power to change your skin's future it's supposed to be anti-aging with turmeric plant extracts hyaluronic acid Walling. This says in seven days, skin is visibly firmer, smoother, more radiant, and refined pores. Okay, I will try it. I'm gonna try this. I am going to try this and I can report back to y'all and let y'all know. This bottle looks so nice. It says press, mix, apply to face. So I'm not sure if I'm supposed to use this morning or night. I'm going to look that up and I wanna try this. I wanna see, okay? I wanna see how it does, Clarence. And yes, I'm gonna put it back in the box like this and I'm gonna take the box like this to my bathroom. So when I get out of my bath or when I'm getting ready in the morning, I will have the luxe experience of taking it out of the box. Last but not least, I got a box from Skin Proud or Hair Proud. <laughs> they do skin and hair products. So it has all this cute little confetti, but let me let me take the products out and show you. They sent me a scalp and hair rescue oil. Condition and repair hair from scalp to ends. Rosemary oil. That's the main thing. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so you put this on your scalp and you leave it in. I do that before I wash my hair. So like today I actually did wash my hair. Yay, go me. And last night I put oil in my hair and I let it set in my hair. I slept in it and then I washed it out this morning just to like hydrate my scalp. So I'll definitely try that. They also sent me their Face Melt Gentle Hydrating Cleansing Balm. No, I remember I tried this and it was a good cleansing oil. There was nothing remarkable about it, like no crazy, insane, amazing thing, but it did work to take all my makeup off. So I'll use that for sure because I don't know if you know, but your girl wears makeup all the time. So I'm constantly going through cleansing oils because I'm always using them. They also sent me a Frozen Over gel to ice hydrator gel okay gel moisturizers i like because i have oily skin so usually they're a little more like lightweight it says put it in the freezer for a burst of hydration okay well that's good to know because i don't like to put products in the freezer if they're not 
supposed to go in there because like temperature can affect things I'm pretty sure but what does this do like this packaging is so light with white printing like hello I'm in my mid 30s I can't read this okay it says just it's just a moisturizer that you can put in the freezer I'm like am I supposed to do anything extra like is this a mask no it's a moisturizer I love doing these weekly hauls it's so fun to sit down and just talk about makeup show you the things I'm going to be testing and trying I am wearing some new makeup on my face today I'm wearing my new singe beauty blush we talked about this in last week's haul I'm wearing the shade risky raisin this was sent to me I'm also wearing two adept lip glosses these I purchased myself I'm wearing blood wine and better I don't know how to say that okay I'll list it in the description box and then I'm wearing a palette that actually launched earlier this year and that's the midnight moth palette from Electrum cosmetics I do have a tutorial on my channel with this palette months and months ago but I am just having a great day. I hope you are having a great day and I will see you very soon in another one. Check out some of my other videos. Stick around. Talk makeup with me.